was 16, 17 years old, I started with flying. And when I was about 19 years old, I decided to overcome my fear of heights with the shocking therapy of skydiving. I just jumped with a kind of a fear. I, I'm still scared a bit. I think you should be scared if you jump out of a plane anyway. I didn't have any any kind of uh, record in mind so that really popped up because I was always fast with my uh, weight and my size because I'm two meters tall and so I was always flying good forward so as soon as you uh, start to spread your arms and your legs you start gliding forward then I, I realized that I could be fast and so I, I really pushed the boundary from jump to jump and I, I just wanted to find out where the, the limit is. ended up at minus 40. Uh, you don't have oxygen enough, so you need uh, uh, your own system to breathe. Uh, during the ascent in the balloon, you, you need the, the oxygen in free fall. And so we made this neat, protected prototype of an oxygen system inside my suit and with just a small, a small tube where I can suck the air in. And so that was uh, really the challenge to fly with this, <laughs> with this because you, you can do you can make so many mistakes uh, in using these kind of things and and it would end in in a certain death if you make mistakes at these altitudes the jet stream as a phenomenon popped up uh, because it's really interesting you could you could really harness so much energy from these high altitude winds and we are desperately looking for new solutions anyway in some years time because we have to and this is a solution i think is really not well known as i think most people they just know the windmills and the high altitude wind power is just just a new phenomenon to most of us <laughs> 